So made to order is includes a route. And so it's it's like, okay, we're gonna produce a widget and what are the steps that we need to go through and what are the materials that get added to it and, and instructions for assembly and all that kind of stuff. And you have options. So um, this actually, when I click this, it's actually triggering a web service call over to get the details and it's randomly generating some options in, in this and but returning back the steps. So to fully simulate going to an ERP system, getting a route and being able to uh, have your batch recipe basically running it. And so I'm gonna go ahead and add a new one here. And it automatically generates a random serial number here. And it gives us the, the instructions for station one. Now, very common, you can start multiple things on that item, you know, that serialized item. So station two, you can also start work, but you can't go to station three until one and two are done. So again, this is just using the, the document management and tying in with that, but um, you could, you know, have automated equipment or a mixture, right? So, so here we got our images and our document management, all that. We accept that. Those are both done now. Station three, we're gonna we're gonna mount that axle. And do we have an option on four? Nope. Station five, okay, we need to mount the lights to that serial number. Now I could have multiple serial numbers all flowing down and one after another, and it will keep track of what, what's at each station, right? So, um, and it will queue up. So if I have two at station one, or one waiting on station one and one at station one, as soon as I finish the one at station one, then it will allow the other one in. So we can do things like that, but we've got some mock-ups that even have like doing rework. I know I'm, especially with the supply chain issues nowadays, at station two, boy, we don't have the beacon light. We can't install that here. We need to just skip this step and keep it, keep our line running, right? And then, and then maybe in the parking lot, I add that beacon light back on. Okay, so it finally came in. Right. So you have those capabilities. Um, the other really cool part about this is this, this is all recording off all the history of that. So, and I showed you the EBR earlier, but we also have analysis here. And so I can come to made to order. I previously created this, but you can create your own um, in here and you can put security on it and what have you. You can have these in dashboards and not have this fancy interface if you, if you don't want to. But basically all the phases and batch data is exposed in analysis. So now I can do just kind of ad hoc analysis here on prompt to. And in this case, I'm pulling up the durations of all those uh, uh, steps that were done in that. And so when I run that, here's all the times that it took at each station as I went through the serial number, what the, what, uh, the procedure was and, and the durations. So pretty cool type information. So I have the EBR if I want that, you know, incredible amount of detail that some want to record off, that's fine. Have it, you can use it in reports, what have you. But we also have this, and you, this is available in the ignition reporting module. When we have one extra feature in that ignition reporting module, which is, you know, uh, comparing two batches. Right. Here's my ideal production. This is how this other batch compared to it. So kind of comparison to golden batch or standard batch. Stay connected by following us on social media and subscribing to our weekly news feed and monthly podcast. Um, but thanks so much, Tom, Jeff, a great presentation. Um, really excited to see uh, how customers use this to revolutionize their processes. And so um, with that, we'll wrap up for today. Thank you. Thank everyone. you, everyone. Yeah, take care. Bye.